Greetings and welcome to all those who joined us in this time of corporate prayer. I'm Bishop Paul McCalla from the church at Aberdeen Street in Birmingham. And I'll be speaking to you today on the topic, Lord, enlarge my capacity for more. I'll be speaking from Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 2, but I'll also read verse 3 from the New Living Translation. Enlarge your house, build an addition, spread out your home and spare no expense. For you will soon be bursting at the seams. Your descendants will occupy other nations and resettle the ruined cities. Through the prophet Isaiah, God spoke words of comfort and consolation to his people. At a time when things seemed hopeless. This message came at a point when Israel was in exile in Babylon. God referred to Israel as a barren woman because Jerusalem had been destroyed and her people carried away into captivity and slavery. As far as they were concerned, God had forgotten them and all hope was gone. But in their distress, God provided comfort for his people. These verses are Isaiah's response to the good news, not only of the imminent end of captivity, but of the coming suffering servant, who Jesus Christ described in chapter 53. In his excitement of what was to come, the prophet said, Sing, barren woman, you who never bore a child, burst into song, shout for joy, you who never uh, been in labor. Even in a time of exile, there comes a time when God's people need to begin to sing in hope and expectation of a better future. But the celebration must be accompanied by tangible acts of faith. God said, put your faith in action, enlarge your house, build an addition, spare, uh, spread out your home and spare no expense. In other words, make room for you will soon be bursting at the seams. What a wonderful promise. Today, God still has the ability and the desire to bless his church. And there is no shortage of resources where God and heaven is concerned. The problem is in our ability to, and capacity to receive. So in preparation, in faith, God invites us not only to sing, but in anticipation to reposition ourselves by enlarging our capacity to receive more of him. He knows that we cannot receive beyond our capacity. In the story of Elisha and the widow in Kings, 2 Kings 4, as long as there were vessels available to be filled, the oil kept flowing. But as soon as they ran out of vessels, the oil ceased. How is your capacity today? Is there any room in your life, in your heart for Jesus? In the current climate, there is a sense of barrenness. Our world is in turmoil and things are not the way it used to be. Our churches are in need of revival. We need increase. We need God's intervention. So we need to pray that God will help us, his people, his church to enlarge our capacity for more of him and his abundant blessings. We must pray that God will enlarge our faith in him, enlarge our opportunity for ministry, enlarge our vision, our passion for lost souls, and our capacity to love and serve him in the beauty of holiness. But we must not only pray. If we really expect restoration, if we expect revival and expansion, we must, we must reposition ourselves to receive it. God wants us to, to know that our present situation is no indication of our future position and blessings. God is not through with us yet. Hence, we must enlarge our capacity by renewing and repositioning our minds to where we, are, we want to be and where God is taking us, not to where we are today. It was while Israel was still, were still in captivity that God told them through the prophet Jeremiah, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Today, the sovereign God is still in control, and he has a future and a hope planned for his people. I believe there is coming a time of revival, renewal, and restoration. But we must not only believe it, we must make room for it by enlarging our capacity for more. Let us pray. O oh Lord, as your servant Jabez prayed, oh, that you will bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand will be with me and that you will keep me from evil. 
Even so, we pray that you would enlarge our capacity to receive more of you, enlarge and expand the borders of our minds, enlarge our vision for greater things. And in a dry and thirsty land, we pray that wells of living waters will spring up in our souls and give us the abundant life for which you came. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.